guys. Hope you guys are having a beautiful morning. So, I'm going to be talking about why Amber only has a small select group of fucking friends. Okay? Now, I as well have a small select group of fucking friends. But I have two fucking different reasons as to why I have a fucking small select group of friends. And why she has a small select group of friends. Let's get into the motherfucking fire pit. <laughs> fucking bullshit of this video y'all so the reason i compare myself between amber's fucking friends and my fucking friends is this one fucking word confidence amber chooses to not have friends with confidence because she knows they will get tired of her motherfucking bullshit i on the other hand oh man I love strong ass fucking women. I love people who stand up for them fucking selves and say, hey, you're not going to put me in a motherfucking box. Who is that on here on YouTube that she could not handle that I could probably be cool with? Jackie Ina, Jacqueline Hill, fucking Shallon Lester, fucking like people like, I don't know, um, I can't think of the girl's name, Hannah, her, I forgot. Smoky Glow. She seems very fucking strong and very fucking confident in herself, okay? Um, there's a real pretty black chocolate girl. I can't think of her name. She's a makeup artist. Um, I can't think of her fucking name. Anyway, she's associated with Jackie Ina. I love strong ass women. And I would be cool with them because you know what? She, these women and I could exchange a fucking conversation, you know, disagree about shit, and you would not get fucking pissed about it. That is the difference. We are confident in our own opinion, and we're confident in ourselves to be like, you know, girl, you're right. You're absolutely fucking right. Damn, I was wrong. A good friend would say, girl, damn, I was wrong. I didn't mean to say that shit. Or be like, I meant that shit. And I stand what I, I say what I say. Now, those women, you could give me constructive fucking criticism. Well, I'm ready for something. I'm ready for something. When I'm not ready for something, I'm not ready for something. You know what I mean? Amber needs people in her life who will cater to her motherfucking ego and her motherfucking needs. And her ego is extremely lacking. There is no fucking ego there. The only ego that this bitch has is that she looks in the mirror... And she's a, she sees a fine fucking specimen of a skinny ass woman. Bitch, no, that's not ego. That's lunatic. Because I look in the mirror and I see what I see. I see a normal, a normal sized woman who's looking to change and always consistently upgrading your motherfucking self. Do like Beyonce said. Upgrade ya. You know, like shit. Don't just upgrade other people. She's upgrading other fucking people. She's upgrading fucking Becky and Crystal and Dana and Destiny. That's some stupid shit. Do not upgrade other fucking people. Upgrade your damn self. Upgrade your motherfucking damn self. I do not upgrade another fucking person. When she's sitting up here, when I look at that, when I got into that live stream and I looked and I said, motherfucking Becky is back. Oh, hell no. Then I said, and I, and I processed it last night. I went to bed and I thought about it and I was like... Okay. Okay. And when I tell y'all that Amber, I cannot, I, ugh, and maybe that's what annoys me more than anything about her. It's not her narcissistic attitude. It's not her need for attention. It's not her need to be, to make her ego bigger. It's the fact that she lacks fucking confidence, y'all. She can, I can, I mean, there are times in my personal life where I lack fucking confidence. I really do. Um, I think we all do. There, There's days where we're just like, damn, I wish I would have done that better. Or, damn, I forgot to do that shit. And your confidence goes down. But, you know, here and maybe here's the truth. I don't know. There's so many different truths when it comes to this girl. She doesn't really resonate anything. She doesn't really give anything to actually, like allow her confidence to be fucking changed and grow or anything she doesn't do anything like that she sits home and, and you know like I, I might come off as a hater but like um 
She sits home and makes money, which I think is beautiful. I'm grateful that she can do that. But at the, in the meantime, what are you doing with your life? Like you can have, all, I mean, we, as we know, you can have all the money in the fucking world. But if your ass is not happy, that money don't mean shit. It's just sitting in the bank, collecting dust, and you're just like willy-nilly in it. You know, like I could say with my dollars, I'm putting my dollars to fucking use. I'm I'm upgrading myself. I upgrade my child. My child is in a in a great school. And she's, you know, ooh, y'all my eyes itching. She's in a program where she develops great social societal things that she can grow and do. She's in dance classes. She's, I'm, I want my daughter to be well-rounded. And there's the part. Oh, that, I just found it. There's the part. Good Lord, I thought it was confidence. And I'm just finding things as I talk. <laughs> there's the part that she's missing. She is, she's not well-rounded. And you can't, you can't blame her all the way because she didn't have the fucking upbringing. But then there comes a fucking point. You know, there are certain things that I didn't get as a child that everybody else had. Like, I grew up in a single parent household, okay? My mom worked all the time. She worked really hard. And I do appreciate her hard work because without her hard work, I wouldn't be where I am today. So, I didn't grow up with a dad. But I do not let that shit manipulate and hold me back to where I want to be in life. I didn't grow up with like a ton of fucking friends and fucking sleepovers and blah, 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 shit like that. But I got some solid motherfucking friends now because I know that the friends that I have are true friends. I don't do the whole like ride or die fucking shit. I'm not a ride or die. If you're going to go out and, you know, quote, do some illegal shit, I'm not going to be with your ass. If my best friend is going to go out and, if, okay, for instance, for instance, if my best friend or her significant other and he he is fucking around on her and she said, let's, let's go get that bitch, I'm not going to go get that bitch. You handle your own fucking shit. I'm not going to put myself in a situation to handle some shit. First of all, he ain't my man. And I have said this to my own fucking man. If you want to cheat on me, and I'm, I will not. I might have a problem with the girl, but I'm not going to sit up here and fight no chick over no damn dick. I'm just not going to fucking do it. Amber is showing her lack of confidence and her lack of well, well-roundedness and the fact that she purposely brought another fucking woman in Becky's face. And Becky's like, okay, I guess I'll take it, I guess I'll take it. No, you ain't going to, I wouldn't take that shit. I'd be like, I'm getting the fuck, I would get out of the fucking situation my damn self. I would pack my shit and move out. But she's but Amber surrounds herself with like negative ass energy. And she likes it. And other people like her negative ass energy. Because then that's why people like Becky so much. Because Amber is so negative and Becky seems to be so positive, which is uh, shit starting to come out that I don't really appreciate. Oh, they got a really nice yard, y'all. It's so cute. Damn, that pool is nice. And they got a, what the fuck? They got a fucking, um, they got a fucking camel. Okay, Egypt. Okay. <laughs> um, but she, you know, like, I'm, her circle of friends is so fucking limited because people get tired of bullshit. My fucking friendship is limited. There's another fucking camel, y'all. Not fucking kidding, y'all. Okay, my mind is blown. Um, I might see him again, but I swear to God, I only see one camel in that yard. The other, the first camel had two fucking humps, and that one had one hump. Um, Amber surrounds herself with people who enable her. And you know what? In all reality, I say keep bringing the shit, because you are the perfect psychological study case that I need for my semester this year. I'm not going to school for psychology, but I am going to school for collegiate education. Um, I'm getting a higher education. I'm not going to tell you guys what, but I'm getting a higher education in collegiate education and understanding how to deal with adults and the education um, workplace, okay? And Amber's the perfect case. She's the perfect case of this is what not to do. Don't do this shit, okay? 
All right, I'm gonna get out of here. I hope this video makes sense. I probably, it probably doesn't make sense, but I mean, if you want good energy, surround yourself with fucking good energy. If you don't want good energy, go find fucking Amber Lynn. Because she is not only a soul sucker, but she's a goddamn piece of shit person to not let Becky move out. But then, you know, videos coming out about that, about my thoughts. I'm fucking Becky. I will see you guys Saturday about Becky and this whole bullshit. Got some thoughts, y'all. I hope I can contain myself by fucking... Well, yes, I can because I'm sure her tomorrow live stream because today's Wednesday, the September 1st. So I'm pretty sure her fucking um, Thursday live stream is going to have Becky in it. So we, get, we just got more content to talk about. Oh, thank you, Amber. I appreciate your ass. And I appreciate your ass for not being confident and well-rounded because you got some bullshit. I wish I would be not well-rounded. I wish I would not have confidence. Shit, if I didn't have confidence, I would not be able to do this shit. And, and you know, like, I won't, let me, let me just say, just because her ass gets on camera, sits down and talks to y'all, and makes a million dollars a year, which I'm very proud of, do your thing, baby. Do your thing, baby. Does not make her a good person. It don't make me a fucking good person either to come on here and talk about her. I'm not being a hypocrite. Don't make me a good person either. But the difference is, I'm not going to sit here and gaslight motherfuckers in my real life nor on here on fucking YouTube to make y'all think I'm a fucking good person. There are times when I'm not a fucking good person. And I'll admit that shit. I'm not always a fucking good person. People get on my fucking nerves all the time and I'll tell them off. That doesn't make me a very nice person. But here's the difference between she and, she and I. I have the cognitive brain thinking power. That didn't make sense. <laughs> Y'all, and I'm college educated. I higher educated, college educated. Bullshit, I am. I am, but y'all, sometimes this shit pisses me off and I can't think right. But, um, there is a, there's a difference between her, her videos and all these other people's videos who be like, what the actual fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? And I'm just, I'm just sitting back like, all right, sure, we'll talk about it. We'll just, we'll just talk about it. Ain't nothing else to do besides talk about how crazy ass. All right, you guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.